realized at that moment that everything that I thought was wrong, literally decide who you are. You get to become whoever you want to become. Personal development allowed me to understand that, hey, you know what? You aren't your pain. You aren't your traumas. You aren't all those things. No matter what happened to you, none of that matters. You can't go back and fix it. But you can start today and decide who you want to be and start constructing this version of yourself. And who do you want this person to be? How do you want people to talk about you at your funeral? And that is the reason why I do what I do because there are people who are still in that dark place and they don't know how to get out of it. What's going on? It's your boy, Kieran Davis, AKA Ken Banks. And I'm the CEO and owner of Contagious Collection. This video right here, I wanted to talk about your why and my why, the reason why I do these videos, the reason why I make this content, the reason why I'm building my brand, my clothing brand, Contagious Collection. Now, many of you have been following my page, my channel for a long time. This is about the third, fourth year that I've been making content here on YouTube. And if you realize, a lot of it's been very consistent. What I talk about here is mental health awareness, suicide prevention, as well as personal development, and just a lot of tips and you know advice for introverts. Guys, I've gone through therapy for, for a while. You know, and I, it's not a consistent thing. I'll go, stop, go back. You know what I mean? Just like I, as needed. You know, and um, I've, I've actually been clinically diagnosed with uh, a severe anxiety disorder. Now, many of you might not even know what that means. Might not know what that is. You know, um, just so basically, it's, for something to be a, a, a disorder, it's not something that's just something you're going through right now. Because we all experience anxiety. With a mental illness disorder, is something that's been prolonged over a long period of time. And you know, there's different things as you go through life, different trauma, different challenges that will bring this about, that can you know, create this sort of disorder within you, you know? And uh, it's a challenging thing, but it's something that I live with and I, and I go through, you guys, you know what I mean? Just like normal things create a, a lot of anxiety for me, you know? And I understood that I'm not the only person in the world who feels this. I'm not the only person who suffers from this. Some people have it worse, you know? And that's scary to me. And that's the real reason why I got on, you know, when I started creating content, the reason why I'm creating my clothing brand can create this collection, you know, to focus on mental health awareness and suicide prevention to help prevent that stigma. You have to understand that suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in America. And it's it's the top five leading cause of death for black Americans. And it's such a big thing that is not talked about as much. And for, you know, there was a little period of time where it kind of became like a cool topic, where like depression became cool and, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like, man, there's, there's really nothing cool about it. And I understand that there's people who are, you have an influence who are speaking openly about their depression and things like that. And they have such an influence that people started to, you know, to mimic it. And I'm not saying all of them, and you can't say who is and who isn't. Um, but I just don't think it's something to really be, you know, to play around about. It's very, it's challenging for somebody who suffers with depression to be happy in moments that are easy to be happy. You know, it almost feels like they aren't allowed to, you know, they're not qualified to. That depression prevents them from being able to find and feel and express joy and happiness, you know. And this is my why. When I was 19, I moved away from home. And because I moved away because growing up, I experienced a lot of difficult things, such as, you know, just homelessness and, you know, um, just being <laughs> starving and not having a lot of money and almost kind of being noticeably poor, you know, and just a lot of different things that go into that that I'll get into in another video. But when I, the first opportunity I got to escape, I did, man. I moved away from Alabama and I moved to Iowa. And within a short amount of time, I literally um, almost went to jail. Almost went to jail. And that kind of changed my life. Because young, I, I thought I was smart. You know, I thought I knew a lot. I thought I knew everything. And, and then I make a decision that almost ruins my life. And I realized at the moment that I didn't know anything. I realized at that moment that everything that I thought was wrong and 
I wasn't able to trust myself. I wasn't able to depend on myself. And I had to create something new. And that is what makes why I say AKA Ken Banks, because that's what makes Ken Banks so pivotal. I had to create an alter ego to lean on because me, myself, Kieran Davis, I couldn't trust myself. And you start to form a self-hatred. You start to hate yourself. It starts to become challenging to look in a mirror. It starts to become challenging to accept love, to accept comfort from people around you, people that care about you, when you don't love yourself, you know? And at this point in my life, some like a phenomenon happened. It's when I really found personal development. Um, not to misquote, but I you know, discovered this quote, I want to say from uh, Maria Robinson, and it says, no one can go back and start a new beginning, but anybody can start today and create a new ending. And this quote took me down a rabbit hole. It took me to find the law of attraction and personal development, and all these different things. And I, I picked up the first, the first personal development book I picked up was, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And I didn't even read the whole book because at that time, it was you know first book, it was kind of long. And But the first part of that book was about private victories. It was about the things you do in private that propels you forward in life and allows you to be successful. And at this, growing up, you only see people stunting, shining. You know, you only see people, you know, stepping on people's necks and stuff, like stepping out drippy, you know, getting the baddest girls and things like that. You only see public victories. And then you realize as you get older that a lot of people who are always flossing these public victories in private, they're suffering. In private, they feel the same way you feel, you know? And a lot of that, a lot of those people crumble. They crumble because their foundation is weak. And in order to be truly successful, you have to build a solid foundation through these private victories. These will be the things you do in private, your personal development. And I didn't know what personal development was. I thought you were your, your, your circumstances. I thought you were your experiences. I thought you were your pain, your trauma. I thought that that is the stuff that made you and, and you didn't get to decide who you are until I realized that you literally decide who you are. You get to become whoever you want to become. And me creating Ken Banks was, was I was able, because I was always using this name in video games because Kieran isn't on there. And you know what I mean? Growing up, I couldn't create that name. And then uh, one, one of my best friends from high school called me Bankroll. So I just always did Ken Banks and that was my alter ego. And that helped me get girls. That helped me do so many things that I was too anxious, too afraid to do. I would call on this alter ego to allow me to step out of that fear, step out of that shadow. And uh, it still helps me to this day. But now I have more love for myself, for Kieran. I have more love for myself. Fast forward, back back to the thing. So personal development allowed me to understand that, hey, you know what? You aren't your pain. You aren't your traumas. You aren't all those things. No matter what happened to you, none of that matters. You can't go back and fix it. But you can start today and decide who you want to be and start constructing this version of yourself and who do you want this person to be? How do you want people to talk about you at your funeral? How do you want to be perceived 10, 15 years from now? What will your story say? If life was a movie, or as Kevin Hart would say, your life is a book and you're currently still writing that book. So the past had already happened. How are you going to write the end of your story? And, and that mindset changed my life when I realized that I had control and I had power. And that is the reason why I do what I do because there are people who are still in that dark place and they don't know how to get out of it. They don't know how to get out of it, you know? And I was pushing this message, pushing this message. And when you're trying to put spread love and things like that, because what I'm trying to do is make self-love contagious. I'm trying to create, because we live in a world where negativity travels faster. They said, they, they said, uh, they said, uh, they said the bad news will travel around the world before the good news, before good news puts its shoes on, or uh, false news or rumors and stuff like that before the truth gets its shoes on in the morning. So it's like, guys, the world is always filled with negative. It's negativity is filled with it. I want to be a part of the solution. I want to be a part of the group of people who are making all the positive things contagious. And that's why I call my brand Contagious Collection. Because there's people in the world suffering. There's people in the world suffering inside of themselves. 
And no one really understands it around them. Why they're sad. Why it's challenging to do these things. Why they're suffering with this anxiety and all the different other mental health, Ill, you know, mental illnesses. And I get it. But I also understand that you can't stop there. That we don't, we don't get to opt out of life, you know? And, 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 and suicide is a big problem and that's essentially what you're doing because life is hard, but for some people, living is harder. But I'm telling you, like, what you've been through, it is strengthening you for your purpose. And you just have to find your why. You just have to find your why. Attach it to something. I don't care if you have a gift of art. Paint, create your art, and put your why in it. Put that pain in it. Tell a story with it. I don't care if you play sports. Play that sport, put your pain in it, and make this your reason why. When your reason why is bigger than you, it adds more energy to your life, to your existence. A lot of people, and there's no knock to anybody, they do things and they have a good idea and it's a great idea. But a part of the execution, a part of succeeding is why. People wanna know why you're doing this. Why should we support you? Why should we care what you're doing? What does this mean for me? What does this mean for Timmy? What does this mean for Damien? What does this mean for Cody? What does this mean for Tyler? What does this mean for anybody else besides yourself? Why should we support you? Why should we give you our money? What are you doing this for? Is it just for yourself or just for your family? What about my family? What about their family? People wanna know why. This is why I do what I do. YouTube, all that stuff is free. TikToks, I'm posting TikToks pretty much daily. Instagram, YouTube, it's all free, you know? But in order for you to really fall into your mission and your purpose, the way that the world is, you have to make a profit, you know? You have to make a profit. And you wanna help people with what you're doing. So I wanna make apparel that is thought provoking is inspiring, it is motivational, that lets people know that they're not alone with their pain. However, you can still be someone great, that you are amazing. They said there was, tr there was what, billions, trillions, I don't even know how much, of sperm cells that when you, when, for your opportunity of being born, that you were born a winner because you had to beat out millions, billions, I don't even know billions of different sperm cells for you to be alive. You were born a winner. No one's here by accident. Think about all the miscarriages. Think about all of the different compl you know, complications with getting pregnant and things like that. But you're here today. And if you are able to hear this video and see this video, that lets me know that you aren't doing that bad in life. You have internet, you have a, 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 some sort of device that allows you to receive this message. You're not doing that bad in life. Half of the world barely, they don't even have a toilet that they can use. They don't have proper plumbing in their house. They gotta go somewhere else to use the toilet to take a shower. So you're not doing as bad as you think you are. And I know that doesn't help for some of us who have you know, uh, depression disorders or anxiety disorders. I know the fear doesn't go away. I know the pain just doesn't go away. And I try to, every day I wake up, fill my life with some sort of motivation. If I'm watching a hundred YouTube videos on just on just things that motivate and inspire me, if I'm talking to people that just motivate and inspire me, fill your life with that sort of energy so that you, can, you don't even have time to fill down. You don't even have the time for it. And that's what you gotta do. If that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. The, if the video games ain't helping you, if, if if whatever the other case may be, but whatever you're doing, make sure that it's healthy for you, you know? I used to wanna, when I was young, I used to smoke smoke weed every day, drink every day, try to find another girl to hang with and then just get her, get her out of here because to me, that was suppressing the pain, but it wasn't correcting it and it wasn't positive and it wasn't healthy for me. So all I was doing was just putting a new Band-Aid on every day. I wasn't actually getting help. I wasn't actually helping myself. That's why I'm here. So one part of this video is for anybody who is doing something of any measure, why are you doing this? What is it for? Is it just for you? Is it just for your own ego? Is it just for your own benefit? Or does it help people? Why are you doing what you're doing? 
for anybody who who's just living life and they just want to be happy, find all the reasons why you are here. Understand that. Understand all the people that love you, all the people that care about you. This is more reason why we need you here. It's a part of that diversity that makes life so beautiful. And, and, and before growing up, sometimes you're so focused on your own issues, your own problems, your own circumstances that you can't really see the full picture of it. And I struggle with that some days as well. I actually take the time, if I have something that's just swaying so much on me that I can't even think about anything else, I have to journal it so I can see how ridiculous I am sounding, how, how, how cruel and, and absurd I'm being to myself. And that allows me to just move on from it. You know? So if this resonates with anybody, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know. That's what this is for. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to have my website in, in the description right at this moment. I'm rebuilding everything because I'm going to be, you know, doing everything like legitimately. It's not like a merch. This is actually my clothing brand, Contagious Collection. And we're making self-love contagious. And 10% of all profits are going to be donated to mental health organizations to help people get the aid they need and help prevent suicide. So with that, guys, I love you. Take care of yourself. Until next time, peace.